Welcome in everybody. I'm going to be talking about how to get records, how to use the get records method in Zoho to Luge. So to get records from your CRM, so that could be from your leads, your accounts, a custom module, whatever the case may be, I'm going to show you how to do that here. If you like what you see, I am coming out with my Zoho One Suite full training course later this year. That course contains 50 to 100 hours of different content. I'm at 50 hours now. We'll see where we will end up. But the purpose of that course is for developers or aspiring developers, if you're working for you know your customer, your client, your company, whatever yourself, you can and you get stuck in any application you're in within the 40 plus apps that contains the Zoho One Suite. You can just refer there for a tell all on your APIs. I know the Zoho One documentation could be a little bit rough sometimes, or you could be waiting on the phone or the email for help from Zoho One support for a while. And this, the purpose of this course is to solve that issue. Um, so to pre-enroll and get 50% off, the link is in the description. I'll send you an email and a coupon code with when, whenever that course finally is able to drop. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the Get Records API. So first thing I did was Google Zoho Deluge Get Records. I'm going to go ahead and copy that syntax. And let's create our variable, so my leads. I'm going to use the leads module. But I'm going to teach you how to, you can also um, use custom, custom modules. First thing you need to do is go in your Zoho CRM and click on Setup. Go down to that Developer Space APIs. Click on API Names. And you'll see all the module names that you have here, okay? Even your custom modules. So you have Creator Events. You know it's a custom module because there's that green star next to it. If you want to go one step further and see the fields within your... Um, within those modules, you can click on that and you can go through the fields where you can see the API name and the data type. So you can do that, okay? Coming back here, like I said before, I am going to do that leads module. Page just refers to the number of pages you are going to be using to get records from. Per page just specifies the amount of records you want. I believe the limit is 200. I only have 22 sample leads right now, so I'm just going to do 10. Query value is if you only want particular leads, so if you only want leads from one city, you can put your query value here, or if you only want last names that start with a letter, you could put that there. Like I said, I only have 22 sample leads, so no query value is necessary. Since you already are in the Zoho CRM, I don't need a connection, and we have our leads, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and print my leads. And you have that shows up there. To make it a little bit easier what's going on, I'm just going to loop through those leads with the for each. If you don't know how to use the for each loop, I did come out with a video this morning describing how to use a for each loop. So please refer to that. But I'm just going to go ahead and say for each lead in my leads. Let's print my leads. If you want to know all of the different keys that you could get from, oh, sorry, I just printed, sorry, it is, needs to be lead, there we go. If you want to know the different keys that you could get from each individual lead, you can do my lead, lead.keys, okay, this is where I'm going to see that first name key, but you can see all of the different fields that you could get, okay. So let's say I want to get the first name from each lead. <clears throat> Sorry, each lead. There we go. And we have the leads. Like I did say, I only have 22 sample leads. I'm only getting the first 10. As you can see here, it does look like I have created some leads myself. There's not a LeBron, a Rico, or an ASDF lead. But that's how you use the Zoho CRM get records for each lead and my leads, you know, you could do that whole same scenario. You can do the same thing, you know, with any module. I'll just do a different one here. So let's say we want to actually do contacts. And we will info, let's change this to contact and my contacts to make a little bit more sense. Okay. Same thing works here. I don't have any contacts. Like I said, I am just on the Zoho CRM um, using the sample data right now. Okay. If you do, however, have more than, say, you know, 200 
records that you're wanting to fetch. The best solution I have seen is you can do a loop where you say my pages and you can specify the number of pages you want to get. Okay. And then what you can do is you can do a for each page in, oops, I should not have deleted that, there we go, for each page in my pages, and you just put that in there. Um, okay, so for each page in my pages, you're going to get that page. So let's say you have 1,400 contacts. This is going to be how you could get um, the, those contacts, and then you could add those to a list. So say my master contact list. Okay, and then all you do here is do dot add my contacts. Okay, and that is how you can add up to 1,400. I mean, there's no really limit. That's how you can get all the records from a single module using Zoho Deluge. If you appreciated this video, please like and subscribe. But again, I do have that link in the description for my Zoho One Suite full training course. Again, that drops the back half of this year, beginning of next year. So please pre-enroll and have a great one.